What's going on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm gonna show you all an easy way to overwinter sensitive container plants. Here in these garden carts, I'm growing very tropical things that have to be kept in containers because they will not survive in ground. I have six different coffee plants that are four years old and beginning to fruit profusely. I have tropical variegated lemons that can't take any frost or freeze. And then I have very tropical key limes that cannot take any frost or freezes at all, as well as a tender pepper plant that I've been overwintering for two seasons now. The typical way that most people overwinter sensitive vegetation grown in containers in places that see frosts and freezes and otherwise cold temperatures is simple. They bring the containers inside and they overwinter them indoors. However, this method has several problems. Number one, some container plants don't particularly like bringing brought from outside to inside and they have to be acclimated very slowly to indoor settings. Number two, you also need a sunny south facing window for the most part in order for these sensitive trees to get enough light to overwinter. Number three, you may not have the space for all of these containers. What if you have more than one or two plants? What if you have a dozen like I do? Number four, you may bring in pests from the outside. And number five, because there are no natural predators inside your house, small pests like aphids or scale can proliferate and take over everything. And you can even wind up with a fungus gnat problem in the soil. If you live in a place like I do, where it gets very cold at night, but it can still get above 50 most days during the winter, you can simply take all of your plants, put them inside wheelbarrows or garden carts, and simply cart them inside your garage at nighttime, and then cart them back out during the day. Not only will you not have to worry about bringing them inside and designating space for them, but you won't have to worry about all of the indoor pest problems that come along with overwintering plants inside your house. The other benefit of this method is you never have to worry about an acclimation process, both bringing the plants inside during the winter, and then acclimating them back to the stronger outdoor sunlight in spring when you eventually have to carry them outside again and because they're getting direct sunlight they grow stronger and better then on nights when I'm confident it's going to be at least 40 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer I simply back the garden carts up to the south wall of my house because the radiating heat of the house keeps all of the plants about five degrees warmer every single night that's why I have so many of my frost sensitive plants planted or kept up against the house I think a lot of people avoid this method because they think they have to physically carry their plants inside and outside and break their back with that hard manual labor every single night and every single morning. But you don't have to. Simply buy yourself a very affordable garden cart if you need to find one. I have one linked in my Amazon storefront in the video description. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.